regarding anything. One guy contacted me and said he knew the guy, but I didn't follow up on it because I thought, I don't want to get involved with you guys. Said he knew this Louis Lafarve guy, and I don't want to get involved with them because to me, they're coming from the occult. But why isn't, is there anybody in the government, man, that should be looking into this? Why are they calling it the sequel to 9-11? They freaking show President Trump to be a, a president before he became president. You need to help me. Anybody, you need to help me expose this. There's an attack coming on our nation, man. This, this, the opening scene shows this electrical insulator here. This is an electric fence, okay? You can, I looked up electric. You see how it has this arc here, like this arch that comes forward, it leans forward at the top. Let me show you. I, I looked up electrical fences. Because I just wanted to find out more about them to understand what it's saying there. I just Googled electrical fences, electric fences, and I scroll down. I'm not seeing anything that looks like what I'm seeing in that, that video, okay? Because I'm trying to depict, you know, I'm trying to understand what it is so I can say, well, this is what it means. This is, you know, da, 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 da. I break down the video. So I'm looking, I'm looking, and then finally I come across this, which looks like it. Well, what is this? You can go to the Wikipedia site, Electric Fence, and I did Electric Fence, and here's the same picture. And what is this from? The Nazi concentration camps were surrounded by electric fences like this one shown above at Auschwitz, which contain lethal voltages continuously rather than in pulses. This is just electric fence, and you go down even here, and it shows you these different kind of electric fences. You don't see anything that looks like what we see in that video until you get down to where it talks about the electric fences and the concentration camps at Auschwitz. This is showing you a concentration camp. Furthermore, this video, which refers to the sequel to 9-11, showing you this concentration camp surrounded by an electric fence where the fence posts are curved in, that is to keep people from coming out this way. This is, an, this is an insulator. Look at this insulator from Auschwitz. Why are they showing you this image here at the beginning? This insulator on this fence. Well, I looked up uh, electrical fence insulators, and I found this one that looks most like it. Well, where is this from? From Auschwitz concentration camp. This insulator here. And what the insulator does is it keeps the current flowing down the fence. And in other words, this is a non-conductive material, ceramic, if you will, or plastic and some, probably ceramic here, that keeps the electricity from going into the fence and to the post so it keeps flowing down the, the barbed wire. Just like we see and these other images, man, this barbed wire. Barbed wire. And furthermore, it's going to show these smokestacks in the background, which I thought were, and they may in a multilayered sense, rep sense represent uh, the 9-11 World Trade Towers burning because this video does have imagery that relates to the first 9-11 like the phrase pet goat uh, that leads you into uh, you know the sequel to the 9-11 so it shows like Bush sitting in the classroom it shows Osama Bin Laden things that pertain to the first 9-11 or at least allegedly did uh, but here in the background I thought well these you know probably relating to the 9-11 World Trade Towers. But when you really look at it, okay, for one, there are lights down here in the facility beneath the smokestacks. And then you have these smokestacks coming up. Well, these smokestacks are not perfectly symmetrical. They come up at an angle here. 
They start a little broader and come up. And then they straighten out. And so I just looked up smokestacks for concentration camps. And you'll see, like this one with the two smokestacks, there are smokestacks tied into the concentration camps. And I found this one, which is a Nazi gas chamber. Where they killed people. Let's see. Where is that image at? I'll just, that's the same building. Where they killed people. It ties into the Holocaust. Again, this, the fence ties into the Holocaust. It ties into the concentration camps of World War II. Now, what we're facing here is World War III. That's what this is. That's what they have planned. You can read it. Albert Pike's Third World, Three World Wars. They plan these things ahead of time. And they're trying to deceive people into thinking that they are in touch with a transcendent being who transcends time and space, when in actuality, this is just massive manipulation and planning and collusion. They're trying to deceive the whole world, ladies and gentlemen. So you see the smokestacks tied into the concentration camps. Okay, here's another image, Auschwitz. I guess this is when they were building it or something. So this famous gas chamber with these twin smokestacks And what do we see in Pet Goat 2? We see these twin smokestacks back here. With smoke coming at them, or gas coming at them. And the lights on at the facility. It's in business. So this concentration camp. And it pertains to the USA, not just because it says Pet Goat 2, sequel to 9-11, but... When you really understand it, and I don't want to get too much into it because it's complex, but this pertains to the eclipse, this dark center with this light, uh, circle light going around it. It's multi-layered, yet yeah, it pertains to a spotlight, uh, some in a box being caged up, but it also pertains to an eclipse, this circle spotlight around a dark hole. That is... see okay these are just images you could just google solar eclipse and you see these images a circle black hole with light around it okay that's what it's showing you it's showing you eclipse here that's what it's indicating okay this video deals with eclipses or an eclipse specifically helio font helio means sun the o is emphasized as an eclipse with the dark center the gold corona on the outside that's what you see here, for example, in this eclipse picture, that's what you see. That's showing you the eclipse. The eclipse is emphasized in this video, and but it ties into their belief system relating to Baal, who is supposed to be Nimrod ascended, the sun personified. But here, and this, this ties into 2017, man, I can't, I don't, I don't know why I, People don't understand the gravity of this. This shows Obama graduating. His tassel flips over to the front. That indicates graduation. You see how his tassel's in the back from his graduation cap? When it flips over to the front, that signifies he's graduating. So he's graduating. Obama, who, who, who was president after Obama finished being president? Donald Trump. That's what it shows in the very next image. This pertains to Donald Trump here. This is a stag, a deer horn set coming out of his head. Excuse me, it's behind his head, but it ties into him. Well, what does that mean? Well, the Celtic zodiac sign begins December 24th, and I've showed that, you know, it's got the, this pertains to December. It's got the two on this side, the four on that side. It just doesn't 
it's not okay when, it, when we're decoding this video it just doesn't type it out and say this is the next attack on the usa you have to understand peg go to refers to the sequel to 9-11 it's common sense you have to tie you got to use common sense and analyze this prayerfully and understand what it's saying because it has a message here relating to the fall of the united states this stag this stag zodiac sign relates to, well, I'm just going to pull it up in another one. This stag zodiac sign relates to December 24th up until January 20th. And when you understand that and you see the two and the four beside the, okay, this is re referring to the stag zodiac sign. Okay, the Celtic zodiac sign, stag deer, the deer. Okay, that's what it's showing you. And what are the dates on that? December 24th to January 20th. Now, that is what it's showing you here, things that pertain to December. Okay, now it has a calendar. This pertains to Easter, December, January, February, March, April 1st, 2018, when Easter occurred, May, and I... I, I want to go through that, but I'm not going to get into it all right now. Uh, and I've made videos. If you, if you just look at my past, uh, the dates and why in my former videos, I go into that somewhat. I think I, I went into it in depth, but I want to make some more going in depth just into the timeline again. I've gone over it multiple times, but we're always learning new information. But this stag begins Jan December 24th, goes up to January 20th. Well, December comes out of the door this way. This is, that's why it's got this D on the wall. Again, you got to decode it. Well, this way as well, just a different year it's depicting. Uh, but this is a stag with two f flames on this side, four on this side. Again, you have to decode it, two and four. Well, the stag zodiac begins December 24th. This ties into December. This heart shape here, it makes a big heart shape, ties into December. Okay, that, this is showing you things that pertain to December. Okay, now it's got a big timeline, and it goes from uh, Obama's graduation over here into Trump, and you could just see, okay, so this, it shows the same horns that pertain to this Celtic Zodiac sign. It runs up to January 20th. January 20th is indicated. When was Trump's inauguration day? January 20th. After Obama's graduation, he's got the hair piece. He's got his hands in this diamond down position. That's how he always sits. His hair is all emphasized. The only figure here with a hair piece. This is half of a yin yang sign, not a hair piece. This is a hair piece. His hands in a diamond down position. That's how Trump sits. Okay. You could just look it up. Just I just Googled. Man, you could just do this stuff yourself. You just Google Trump sitting. And you just see him sitting with his hands in this diamond down position all the time, okay? That's how he sits most of the time when he's just sitting there, lean forward, hands in diamond down position with his hair piece, okay? That's how he sits, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him. That's how he takes his pictures. People have pointed it out before too. Look, look at Trump's hands. I don't know what they're saying there, but it's a fact he sits like that. Okay, there he is. There he is with Angela Merkel. There he is with Obama. With all these world leaders, he sits like that. So, uh, you need to hear me out, man. This video came out in 2012. They are showing you events to occur after this video came out. They show you Obama's graduation, January 20th, President Trump, before he... January 20th, Inauguration Day, Trump, before he was even running for president. Obama's graduation. Next president, January 20th, President Trump. This video does not end there, however. It goes into 2017. This initially depicts the 2017 calendar. There are 12 months here, 12 of these blue figures this first one has this half of a yin yang sign on it why well 
because in 2017, it was somewhat unique because in 2015 and 2016, the Chinese New Year began in February, okay? But this first figure has the half of a yin-yang sign. Well, the Chinese years alternate between yin years and yang years. And so one year will be a yin year, next year will be a yang year, etc. And so you have uh, yin here depicted on this child's hair, on this figure's head, okay? So yin in the first month, that is January, because in 2017, the Chinese year began in January. Again, this does not apply 2015, 2016, 2018, 2019. Donald Trump becomes inaugurated 2017. The Chinese year begins uh, in January 2017. This shows you initially 2017 after Obama's graduation. Well, the eighth figure on the back row is August. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. And he has a sign of an eclipse on his eye or as his eye, this is an eclipse, the indent with the light corona on the outside, and that is when the American eclipse, the great American eclipse occurred in the eighth month, that is August, okay, solar eclipse, August 21st, 2017, it's known as the great American eclipse, where the eclipse went over the USA, not these other nations, over the USA, and there was a total solar eclipse, it ties into August, of 2017 okay now that is what they're showing you here as well and this this is kind of a an encapsulation of different factors here but this relates to the eclipse uh the dark center with the light on the outside that's what they're showing you okay uh then eclipse saturn sickle that's what this relates to there's an image in here of pepito uh the guy sinking he's got a an a sickle here hammer and the sickle the symbol for communism the sickle the handle with a curved blade that's what you see here that's what it's depicting over this uh in regard to this eclipse okay where this hole is you have saturn sickle on the outside well what does that mean well this video ties heavy into mythology okay it ties heavy into mythology uh, Aphrodite, Helios, Apollo, all that. This is what they're going to tie into as they're deceiving the world. Uh, but the sun, the, the sun being blocked out, they're tying into the castration of the sky. Because in mythology, this sickle, this handle with a blade coming around, Saturn's sickle, was used to castrate Uranus. Uranus was the sky personified. So that's what they're tying it into. And after that came uh, Aphrodite because the genitals of Uranus were thrown into the sea. Aphrodite was birthed out of the sea. Well, this video depicts hurricanes. It names hurricanes. Okay, It shows you the names and locations of hurricanes before they occurred because they can manipulate the weather. All right, uh, You can look up as far back as in Vietnam, the Ho Chi Minh Trail where they manipulated the weather in that event. Well, technology is by far advanced from the 60s. Now, okay, we didn't even have cell phones back then. Didn't even have pagers. Had those rotary phones back then. Technology is by far more, even publicly, not to mention what's private, by far more advanced than it was back then. And they could manipulate weather back then. Well, they can manipulate hurricanes. With harp, H A A R P, etc. Yes, they can, but they're using this conglomerate of uh, events in order to present as a whole and deceive people and say, "Look at all these different factors that nobody could have known about in advance unless they were transcendent." How could they have known the future? Well, we got this information from Helios, the sun speaking. That's what heliophant means from Baal, and you know, he's teaching us how to transcend. He transcended. We're going to transcend like him if we take the mark of the beast. If you haven't seen my video series, The Greatest Danger in Pet Go 2, go watch that. So that's what this ties into, man. The smokestacks. Right now, they're building, they're securing the border between the USA and Mexico. And somebody postulated, a few people postulated, maybe they're just tying, keeping Americans in. And I think that's a big part of it.
they show you winter without electricity the electricity goes off in these towers and that's all it's going to take man you shut the electricity down in winter time again it names the 20 it shows 2018 reflected in the window or 18 reflected in this window there are 12 windows on the top row the bottom row has 12 windows and below that you see a big woo which this is the 2018 Chinese lunar year, Wu Shu. That's the name of this year, which is unique. Wu, big W, big U. 12 windows below, 12 windows above. This one has 18. This is a hybrid of the Gregorian and lunar calendar. This torn flag, the American flag ripped in half for all you patriots in, the, in some type of position where you could help stop this stuff. Flag ripped in half. And the towers light up over here, relate, again, imagery relating to first 9-11. You see the electricity go out. Watch the electricity go out here, the lights. Again, this is a sequel to 9-11. Imagery that, there it goes, the lights went out. Imagery that relates to the first 9-11, but is tying into the sequel. Wintertime, electricity going out. I'm telling you, man. That's all. That, what, what, listen, think about it. Tactically speaking, okay, all conspiracy aside, if somebody wanted to overthrow our nation, we're at the cusp of war. UK and Russia, North Korea, nobody's dropping sanctions. It's just getting worse and worse. Iran, everything is just getting to this apex where it's about to pop. What would be the number one way to, to shut down America? I don't know if it, I wouldn't say number one way because I haven't thought all the way through. But if you think about it, during winter time, you can shut the electricity off. What are they going to do? What are we going to do here? People are going to freeze to death. Ninety-five percent of the people probably freeze to death. Ninety percent freeze to death. Maybe more than that. Maybe ninety-nine percent. I don't know. But a lot because people aren't prepared for it. Because back in the day, they used to prepare for winter during the summer by chopping wood. They had wood-burning stoves in their house, etc. We don't have that stuff these days. What are people going to do? They don't even have good sleeping bags. What are they going to do for food? So if you shut it down, everybody becomes desperate and will march right into the FEMA camps. they will march right in to get some food and some warmth if you're not dead already. All they got to do is walk in and people are huddled in their houses and go door to door and, hey, we got some food. You know, put up a sign. We got food, whatever. You know, tell us where the, the people who are trying to hold up and resist us are. I don't know how it's going to play out, but that's a common sense way to fall, make the America fall. And if you look at the map here, when Bush is, I want to get into the timeline, man. I'm not going to do it today. When Bush is saying, can't get fooled again. Fool me once. Then he looks at the map for the first 9-11. He says, can't get fooled again. He goes his hands through the months. And long story short, stops at December. Well, we when you look at this map, it has four pins in it, which relate to catastrophes that hit the USA in time past. Okay. 9-11, Oklahoma City bombing, Hurricane Katrina, and the Deepwater Horizon oil platform. Well, four pins, four catastrophes, USA. Below it, you have four snowflakes. Why? Why snowflakes under this map relating to catastrophe? Or is it a coincidence that there are four of them and four pins? Is this showing you things that were widespread across the USA? You know, that giving you multiple locations across the USA and giving you snowflakes to show you, hey, this freezing is going to uh, encompass this portion of the USA? What about the other side? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen on the other side. But regarding this side, the East Coast and Texas, it is shown in this video. And the freezing, man. That, I mean, four pins, four flakes, freezing. And the, the F equals minus F. I forget who pointed out F equals minus F. The regular Fahrenheit equals the negative Fahrenheit, I guess, or the temperature equals minus degrees would make sense. And below, beside that, you have this electrical outlet, which signifies electricity. You know, this is an electrical outlet beside that after the flakes. So what is it saying here? I'll tell you what it's saying, man. It's saying that 
things are about to pop and they showed you events ahead of time and people need to take this serious. I'm trying to get in. I, I know the timeline points to December. This relates to December. December comes out here and then it goes, it goes, this, it's got this D for 2017. Then it she took signifies New Year's after 2017. And then you got January, February coming off of her. January. So this is December 2017, 2018, New Year. January, February, March, April. The rabbit with one leaf under the rabbit's ear. April. One leaf, numerical value of one. April 1st is when Easter occurred. Very rare. Hasn't happened for like, like 50 years. Doesn't happen very often. So the fact that it has one leaf under the rabbit's ear, rabbit signifying Easter, numerical value of one, January, February, March, April, April 1st, Easter, April 1st, 2018. Spot on signifies 2018. After that, you have the eight leaves, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this next month here on the inside, well, what is that? That's May. What happened on May 8th? Trump pulled out of the JCPOA, major news event. And then you got, it's in this big heart shape, relates to the royal wedding as well. You got this H here, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, uh, get married. And, you know, this two figures tied together underneath it, but... I'm not going to get into all that, but it shows a timeline here, and it depicts leaves as dates, numerical values for dates inside of that month. Well, when you come out, this is December 2017. When you come out the other side, this depicts 2018 coming out this side because, remember, this is in a classroom that uh, it's multi-layered. These windows, this window here, uh, it is this window that has the big woo in front of it, which is the 2018 uh, year, okay, wushu year. And so in a macro scale, in a larger scale, in the climactic scale, it pertains to 2018 wushu year. So when it shows the inside of the classroom, we can't, Ignore that fact that the the main theme outside pertaining to these windows is the Wushu year. And also you see 18 reflected above. Now the Wushu year does extend into February. Uh, but this pertains to December. Okay, you come out, you got December, January, February, uh, December, January, February, March, April. This goes into 2018. Well, it tied into the Wushu year. Coming out of the door this way in the Wushu year, you have December. Again, this stag, December 24th. That's what it ties into, December 24th to January 20th. The fact that it shows you the two and the four flames, December 24th. This is December agreeing with this D over here before the new things coming off of New Year on New Year's and New York Times Square. She's got the New York State flower in her ear. And she drops the apple. Well, in the 80s, the ball that was dropped on New Year's was the apple in the 1980s. Just look, New York Times Square, New Year's Eve, 1980s. And you'll see the apple dropping like 1984 specifically, etc. So you have a sign here for December 24th matching what you see coming out of this door. December here matching what you see on the outside, the 11th month of Wu. Uh, this is the 11th month and it rolls into the 12th month. It goes from a right to left uh, pattern. Uh, but you see coming out of this month back here or out of this window back here into the 11th month of Wu, you see December and New Year emphasized. That is accurate. Okay. And so there's a micro calendar here depicting months, several months, but there's a macro calendar as well depicting things that pertain to this 11th month of Wu. Now, on a micro scale, uh, this December uh, also ties into the macro scale. So you got the, the macro scale coming out December 24th here, but, but at the beginning of this heart shape, because this heart shape here pertains to two events, at the beginning of this heart shape, you have three leaves. Now, unless I'm missing something, the obvious indicator of that would be 
December 3rd because you have one leaf here for April 1st, eight leaves here for May 8th. Major news, or actually a major uh, rare event signifying uh, 2018, a major news story. Well, December 3rd, uh, they say, I think somebody said it's the beginning of Hanukkah, but I don't think that's a major event. You know, I think it, unless that's super rare, but I don't see this tied into Hanukkah. This is tied into Easter. This ties into the three planes striking the mosque without getting all into it. But there's three leaves. So unless I'm missing something, this is specifying December 3rd. And to me, that's the most obvious. To be consistent, to be consistent with the leaf to date pattern over here, if to be consistent, it has to refer to December 3rd. You can see the leaves here. It makes a heart shape. It comes down. You got two leaves and then this one leaf. Well, the way that I understand it, I mean, regardless, this all pertains to December. And so three leaves in December. But, you know, I, it, it's just weird the way that they're not joined together. But when it shows in this this way right here, you see how this is a heart that just goes up off the screen. It makes a heart pattern. Well, the same way it's showing you things here. This heart shape comes down to a point, comes up, makes a heart with these two leaves indicating the top of the heart, you know, pointed, curved in and pointed. But collectively, three leaves, this pertains to December. And so December 3rd is what it's indicating. And I think what it shows is war kicking off. Now, there, is, there are going to be events that lead up to this uh, ultimate fall of the USA. Uh, and you can see the ticker in this boy's eye. I was going to also talk yesterday. I, I talked about how ticks three, when you read it backwards, uh, flipped. Uh, well, ticks, you know, ticks are what you call these things in his eye. You know, this is a ticker. The individual entries are called ticks. But it's spelled T-I-C-K-S. So, anyway, but uranium, markets plunge, war coverage next. And so, and then you see the three planes coming over, and they strike the mosque. And anyway, I'm not going to get all into it. But, man, PEGO 2, sequel to 9-11, showed you events ahead of time. I don't know why, why this is... So I, I think it's suppressed, honestly. People have gotten unsubscribed to my channel. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what all is going on. But uh, sequel to 9-11, man. And I, I don't even take it as serious as it should be taken. I, it's hard, man, because we got such normalcy bias. We've got such normalcy bias, man, to where we can't even understand the magnitude of things that we see because we've been so conditioned but regardless it is the sequel to 9-11 it shows events ahead of time there's a timeline in it and the way i see it it points to december 3rd emphasize december 24th i think it emphasized december 22nd through 24th actually and i think it has other events that go into the new year and still inside the wushu year and it culminates with the coming out of the antichrist in the end and that is the greatest deception man if you, you need to go into the the video series i made the greatest danger in pet go to and watch that